day two of the Orlando Women's Amateur Golf Tournament. We're in tie for six. We're gonna vlog day two and day three to see where I finish and see how I do. We're here in Orlando and we've got a 45 minute drive up to a place called Mission Inn, which is where the course is. We're gonna go play and we're gonna vlog basically behind the scenes of the tournament. I've played this course many times a couple of years ago for the Florida State Championship when I played in high school golf and they play that course much, much shorter because when I played it yesterday after not playing a practice round, oops, after not playing a practice round, they played like real yardages and it was super long, super difficult. Basically a different course from those tees. So I shot a 74 yesterday. I got to play a little bit more strategic, but it was a great first round, especially like basically playing a different course. I mean, that course is already somewhat hard from a short tees, but this from far back was very difficult. I changed my putting grip 15 minutes before my last practice session on Tuesday, and the tournament started Wednesday, to right hand low instead of left hand low. So a major change, I only had like 15 minutes of practice with it and it really worked yesterday. So we're gonna do the same thing today and tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. It's so much colder here than it is in Orlando. It's only like 40 miles, but because as I guess it's up, like we left, it was like 59 degrees, it's 52 now. Not nearly as cold as yesterday. Yesterday it was like 44 or something. Actually, I played the state championships two years ago or whatever, here at this course, and um, we forgot our clubs and drove all the way up here 50 minutes and forgot the clubs and had to play with the women's club champions clubs who we actually just parked in this spot up. Hope she doesn't show up today because we're in her spot. Start drinking my Celsius. Get into the mode. Only on the golf course do I drink this, and it helps. Oh, so we're 10:40, All right, let's go.
I missed that last putt. That broke way too hard. That shouldn't have broke that much. Like I was not expecting. That was the only putt I missed inside of eight feet today. First time. That is shocking. I was really confident that was going in the hole. I can't believe I missed that putt because my putty has been insane and I've literally not, I mean, literally not missed any putt inside of eight feet the entire round, no bogeys, two birdies. I'm, I'm literally shocked actually because it's just been in the cup every time, but that broke a lot. That went like a foot out for three feet. It's all good, but 34 on the back nine, par 36, 35 on the front nine, par 35, or 69, par 71. So. We'll go in there, two under, really not a bad round at all. I mean, I hit one, I hit 12 greens and two fringes where I putt. Like I was like off an inch off. So prob I would say 14 greens. I was basically putting, I was like on the edge. I'm in third place, two strokes off the people that are in tie for first, so two tie for first. And my scoring average on par threes is 2.88, which means it's under. And on par fives, it's 4.67, so under as well. My par four average is 4.18. Two on, no bogeys. I've only had a bogey free round like four or five times. And every time that I'm under, I usually have like one or two bogeys in there. I just hit a lot of birdies, but no bogeys which is really good. My putting was absolutely incredible. So all that time we put in for practice obviously worked. I gotta just do exact, I'm the only thing I'm kind of not scared or nervous about is just that I'm gonna get comfortable with that and I have to go back. Like I feel like the reason I'm putting great is because it's kind of like shocking my stroke and it's just more like based off of how much I've practiced and not manipulating with my hands. I feel like once my hand gets stronger I don't want to like start manipulating again, so we'll have to see. But just for this tournament, it's been really working like a ton. It just goes to show though, the putting was the missing piece because everything else was great and that's all I needed. The last tournament I played, if I had putt like I did today, I would have been easily top 10 in the last tournament I played, four day tournament, um, huge, huge amateur event. And I, I, Got on at least 12 greens every single day in the worst conditions I've ever played. And every all the scores were super high because most people couldn't handle it. And I soared in the, in the weather conditions. I just could not putt. So that was on me. But I did figure it out and I'm very happy that I figured it out because that was the missing link, just the putting. I've run into this problem every single time of getting stuck on which door. The left door is always the door that's stuck. All right, so I just, oh my gosh, is that glass in my, I don't even know how that happened. Um, so, there actually was a cut yesterday and I didn't even know about it. So, we had a cut yesterday, so that means that, I mean, obviously I should know, am amateur events always have a cut, so, I think they cut the lower 40%, I think. I think that's what it was. But, anyways, today we are gonna do the same warm up we did yesterday, which is hit balls for a little bit, but then spend most of the time on putting and it clearly helped, so we're gonna putt for, I'm gonna do 50 footers, about 54 foot makes, and then 28 foot makes, and I think we should be good. Okay, it's not nearly as cold as the other days. It's only like, only starting at like 55 today, which isn't that bad. It feels so cold though. I'm only gonna hit balls just for a little bit because my ball striking has been like 
really good recently. It's just I feel confident with it that I'm gonna be completely fine with ball striking. So I just need to putt, keep putting, keep putting, keep putting. I'm so cold. Even though it's not nearly as cold, I'm still freezing. Here we go. Um, I practiced the past two days. I've practiced. 50, I made 54 footers and 28 footers, and so that makes me feel confident about my putting because I feel like if I can do that, then I can do. I can putt anything. I've made it a billion times already. So I'm gonna head to the first tee. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be good today. I'm gonna feel, I feel. I feel confident. I'll be fine. Day number three, the 9.24 tee time. First on the tee from Florida, please welcome Gabriella. Five, six, two, four, three, five. Thank yep. you. The weight lifted off my chest that I'm done. I'm so happy I'm done. I fought back like crazy. But also, here's the thing. So the first double book, I had two double books. The first double book I had, first of all, in my book, wasn't not 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 fair, just a questionable ruling. But also the next double bogey I had, I've never had to go to the bathroom so badly in my life that at that point I just kind of like didn't know where I was and I ran to the bathroom and then made birdie on the next hole. So clearly it wasn't my game. Clearly it was the fact that I was in so much pain that I was just gonna like freak out. I just couldn't, I, I've never felt pain like that before. And then I came back and birdied 17. So putting, like I had so many birdies. I had five birdies today, it was crazy. If I was on the green, I was like making birdie every time. Um, but yeah, like the first double bogey I had. So like me and the other girl, you have to go over tree. And I kind of pulled mine a little bit, but the other girl in our group, we both saw it bounce. And it was puddles that are casual water over the red line. So like there's a red line, there's water, and then there's casual water because the course is flooded. So we saw it splash and kick right. We got up there, the rules official was like, I don't know, yours went so far in and it was like very not, very rude. And then I was like, okay, well, can we look for it? Like, I know, I know it's in the casual water. It didn't land in the bushes. And the other girl attested to that and we were like, looking for it, we couldn't find it because the water was like this deep. And so I had to take drop from the hazard and then drop into casual water again because he says that that's not standing water. Anyways, it was a mess, but you can't complain. The official was really rude. I think it should got should have gone the other way, but you know, that's part of the game and plus he's the official. I can't technically I'm not gonna argue with him about it. I was super sweet and super nice and respectful and he wasn't, but that's totally fine. I have to deal with it. And you know what? I think we secured third place, but we'll have to see when we get in there. If the USGA says that I'm qualified, then I'm more qualified than you and I was like I know, <laughs> I understand. I'm just saying, I think it's, okay, 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 sorry. <laughs> it's very rude.
golf four five thirty six front three three six five six two four three five thirty six thirty seven seventy three oh, three okay. That's against against physics. My understanding is that when you're standing the ball, yeah, if you see water, that's standing that's water. Yes, For yeah, me, that's, that's where we, both players had that issue. Yeah. We were told like, hey, this is it, because this literally was surrounded by water. The referee said, this is it, the surrounding water, trust me, I've been doing it all my I life. Even I looked at it, I said, like there's water all around my thing, like yes. not significant, but there was water oh, there. Yeah, and I way. said to him, I was like, are you sure? I see water. And he's like, it has, no, no water. Water. water has to be there. Yeah. I'm like, no, no, it has yeah, to yeah, be yeah. there. It's, I'm like, no, you it goes down. To see it. Yeah, and then it goes down after 10 seconds, but that's okay. Yeah, it's oh, gonna yeah, sink into the ground. Like, I know. So that's that's where you're I stepping on. It's but like, then his wasn't even light. It was instead of getting into her back and forth thing, which yeah, is okay. There's, there's two things that I just suggesting for the future. You know, you don't have to take the rules official. Um, you know, it's, it's decision because you can get a second decision. Every, it's every player's right to have a second opinion. But we were denied he right there. He was very like aggressive about it. Like yeah, he was yeah. like, this we were is denied. gonna it's happen. Like, hey, I have a badge on me, you know, you guys listen yeah, to me. Yeah, he said, oh, I've a USGA approved. If the, I'm good enough for yeah. the USGA, I'm good enough for you. I'm like, So that's a, that's okay. a little tinted on the, otherwise the girls did great. I mean, they are like yeah. back and forth. I'm sorry for that experience. Mm. So that's one, that's one, that's one, one hole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Clearly, I'm not the only one who thinks that that guy had some wrong decisions. Some really wrong decisions. And he was very rude and aggressive. I, I, it was just more like, I was said to him very nicely and politely, I said, are you sure? Because I see water. I don't know. Like, I could be wrong. I said to him, you know better than I do. I was, I see water. The other girl seeing that she sees water. I'm lightly pressing like I could just with my hand like that and it's all water everywhere. And he's like, nope. See, there's water here, but when you place your ball, I'm like, no, no, your stance has to be out of the water. Isn't that the whole point? And then... Anyways, leave your comments below. Is that technically casual water if the water goes up and then comes down on lightly pressed? Or is it not casual water because there has to be a puddle? I don't know. <laughs> so that's up to you. I mean, it wasn't, we were so polite and so nice to this guy and he was not having it. And then he followed us around the entire round and they had another problem as well. It was just, it was. That could have been the difference, by the way, that rules official, because that girl was tied for first, and she could have been in first if that decision was a little bit more fair. It, it's up for interpretation, but it was more the way that, like, okay, if that's the rule, that's the rule, but don't allow, don't just say that's the rule and not allow us to have any second decision, be super rude, and just, like, angry to be there. But whatever, you can't complain. That's the score. That's the... That's the end. I'm very happy with the end result. So 74, 69, 73. Great three-day tournament. I've been having some putting issues in previous tournaments and I cleaned that up and I putt really well today. Five birdies. I three putt twice in the entire tournament. Now, it's still twice, but that is such an improvement on what it was. That was a top 25 finish, not bad. If my putting was just decent, I would have been easily top 10. I was in top 10 at one point. But positive note on that other tournament, my ball striking was amazing in the toughest conditions I've ever played in that tournament. So the conditions were horrible and my ball striking was great. Brought the ball striking to this tournament, my last tournament of the year, and really tough course, long yardages, and some great players in this field. Finished tied for third, which was really good. Solid three-day tournament. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.